Well, folks, the autumn season is upon us, and here in the Ozarks, that usually means it's time for many to stock their freezers with deer meat. Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight at 9. I'm Jesse Inman. You know, hunting isn't the only way that you can get that venison into your deep freeze, though, at home. In Lawrence County, the Sheriff's Department has come up with a solution to a problem that they see on roadways with deer being hit by vehicles. The sheriff there spoke to me today about their effort to turn that roadkill into a way to feed families. Last year in Lawrence County, one of the sheriff's deputies realized he was working several accidents involving deer, and often that deer would sit on the roadside and go to waste. To put it to use, Sheriff Brad DeLay says they started a program for Lawrence County residents to sign up to be on a list. And if your number is called, you might just earn yourself a free deer. Hopefully by doing this, number one, we do a couple things. Uh, we we provide some meat and some food, hopefully, to somebody that needs it. And number two, help try to keep the roadways nice and clean and clear. There's people out there, uh, especially this time of year, uh, it's getting the winter time, uh, maybe down on their lot, they could possibly use some of this stuff. Uh, if it was still good meat uh, to feed their families. Of course, if the deer isn't in salvageable condition, the sheriff's office won't bother calling anyone. But many times the meat is still good quality, DeLay says. And this year, They've gotten about 200 people to sign up. Which uh, is, is good and bad. I'm glad we got that kind of a response, but because we probably won't be able to get everybody a deer. The only requirement they ask is that you be a Lawrence County resident and that you check in with your local conservation agent who will give you a tag. But even if you're not in Lawrence County, Francis Skaliski with the Missouri Department of Conservation says you can actually do this anywhere in the state at your own discretion. You would call either a conservation agent or a conservation office, say you've hit a deer or come upon a dead deer, you'd like to keep the meat, they'd give you a wildlife disposition permit, you'd fill it out, keep a copy. All venison that's possessed must, must have some form of permit with it. Well, certainly saves you the time and money of getting up and going hunting earlier in the morning. It doesn't cost you anything to get one of those wildlife disposition permits, and Skaliski says that the Missouri Department of Conservation does not guarantee the edibility of that meat and that it's entirely up to the person taking it, and he says that butchering skills usually come in handy if you're considering taking part in that program.